Hey guys, name's Fen playing some of the Black Parade. This time, mission four, till death do us part or whatever it is. Here's my new employer is pleased with my success, and now wants me to get him another trinket. Rumor has it, a fabled ruby known as Aldrius Demise was buried with its eponymous owner in a complex of catacombs and vaults deep below Stone Market. The place was condemned decades ago after it fell to ruin and became haunted, and no one dares to go except corpse dodgers, and maybe a few would-be tomb raiders. It would be wise to get my hands on some holy water, if I want to avoid complications. Victoria managed to find a raw sketch of the place from the original Hammer plans. I have no idea if it's accurate, since it was one of many possible variations of the final construction. Knowing the Hammerites, the place is probably rigged and filled with all manner of traps to dissuade plunderers such as myself. I'd better be cautious and tread softly. Since these tombs were built for wealthy merchants, there's bound to be riches down there. Let's hope the competition didn't make off with them before I get there. I don't like this. I'm risking my neck for some stone I'm not even sure is there, and I can't bail out like any sane person would. This ordeal won't be easy. What is a corpse dodger dodging a corpse? Well, I mean, you don't need to dodge corpses if you don't go looking for them. Like, I don't see no corpses around when I go out walking to the grocery store. Death's Dominion, yes. Um, uh, explore, yeah. Explore the catacomb complex under Stone Market and procure the fabled ruby Andreas Demise. One of the heirs to the Noir Quia... Noir Quia... Merchant... This is all French, eh? The family is after a necklace inlaid with sapphires, supposedly kept by one of her long-dead ancestors. This could fetch a nice little bonus. Get a hold of it. Rumor has it that an aristocrat, Simon Albrecht, was buried with his armor in these tombs. A piece featuring his house's crest would be very lucrative on the black market. The stone market merchants interred here don't need their riches anymore. They won't mind if you rob the tombs for at least 1,600 worth of valuables. Although your stay in stone market will be brief, there's still no need to kill anyone. Well, they're all dead anyway. When your tasks are complete, return to waste. Okay, what? We're going to encounter live people here? Or what's going on? Ooh. 200... Uh, I don't know. I could just read it and then redo it. <laughs> if I don't want to get bitch slapped, or if I do want to get bitch slapped, either way. Well, I'm supposed to take holy water. I don't know. This doesn't really. Yeah, I don't know. Fires might be good. I never use holy water though. I feel like at least one of these might be okay. <laughs> Who's saying that? Who's who's seeing the faces? Who's seeing the faces? Who's seeing whose faces? Nobody even Okay, there's some peasant talking somewhere. Great. Ralph Downer Apothecary. This <laughs> Hey Kevil, Kevil, have you been saying that prostitute again, Kevil? Oh, you're going to the sexual entertainment place. This is not an apothecary, it is Madame Sexual Entertainment Place. Okay. Uh, buh, buh, buh. There you start there. At least the map's clear on where you start. And, wait a minute. No, enter. No, hang on. Hang on, hang on. This is the tombs. But I'm in the streets. Clearly these are streets, not tombs. I believe I was lied to. Are you the tombs? Whatever. Let's go into the str- Oh, those lights are obnoxious. Oof. You're not a zombie, you're just kind of gray. Muffing making noise now. 
Um, yeah, the, the flashing lights are not great. Like, I'm not photosensitive as far as I know, but I still find them obnoxious, though. Will you quit making noise? Ha! 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 Seems quiet enough now. Okay, that's oh, well. pretty funny. But, but can I... I apologize for these flashing lights. Yeah, I don't know. That's There's really no reason for that whatsoever. Maybe you can get up there. There's really no reason for that whatsoever, honestly. Have you ever seen a running man stop in the name of the Baron? What are you tapping about? Well, you know, when you show it halt in the name of the Baron. Oh, of course not. That's what arrows are for. <laughs> That's funny. So, I could go in that door back there, which I guess isn't the tomb, because if it was, then why would there also be this other section of the street blaze in? So why don't I have a map of the city? <laughs> I guess, like, who cares? I've been in this city a month, I should know the whole damn thing by now. What is all this? P. Ellsmore. Clockmaker. Not a tomb, it kind of looks like a tomb. Maybe this is a city slash graveyard, it's the new fashion- oh. Well, this is clearly a tomb. It's a shop in a tomb. What's... Yo, lady, can I steal your shit for money? It's a new concept, you know? Stealing, except you also pay the person you're stealing from. <clears throat> Seriously? Uh, I surrender! He's right here! Help! <laughs> uh, what? You need a key to get into a shop. Hmm. Well, maybe this knife can be used to unlock the door. I can't drop it. I mean, I can't throw it. I can drop it. <laughs> All this for 25 gold and a nice window out into the pleasant graveyard? Well, it's... I don't know. It's, oh, it is a pleasant Damn, graveyard. Someone's already here, huh? Looks like these guys haven't come back yet. I'm gonna need to find that ruby before them. Crap. Okay, I will. But first of all, I'm gonna go back into some other door. Unless, of course, I can't, in which case I guess I won't. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at this thing spitting out the water air under the thing. I like how these guys let me hear their conversation without busting me in the name of the Baron Headsman's Court. How's it going? Oh, good. The people give head around here. The men give head. Good. I mean, hey, I'll take it from whoever I can get at this point. Oh, man. Yeah, that's just the... Bleh. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so maybe you can't unlock this door. Maybe... Oh, I see their paper. Oh, I guess you can. So, I thought this was gonna be... Literally, this is just the bone horde. But it looks like things are already taking a twist. Okay. Hereby declared by Burgomaster Hart with consent from Lord Monsegur, protector of our noble quarter. Let it be known that none shall by night or by day, in secrecy or openly, throw rubbish, dung, or any manner of filth into the canals of the quarter of Stone Market, its districts and wards. Also, no one is to cause any waters or other things to be thrown from the windows by day or by night within the franchise of the quarter of Stone Market, its districts and wards, on pain of a heavy fine, of which the amount shall be decided at the discretion of the Burgomaster masters and aldermen. So am I gonna get water poured on my head here anyway? Because like law, I gotta disobey the rules cause it's kinky. Okay. Well, maybe I can actually... Uh -huh. Yeah, this doesn't always work perfectly, but you know, whatever. It's a neat idea, so it's fine. Wait, what? Oh. oh. Uh. Crap. <laughs> They, they know when you bump them. At least so I have heard. I thought maybe I saw a potion or something up there. Am I crazy? Well, it's something that looks like a potion, but I don't know if that's like an actual real kind. Let's see. I can't jump. I don't think it is. I think I would be able to frob it from here if it was. Alrighty then. That did nothing! That did sort of something. The City Tribune 905-833, the Iron King dead at 81. Leobald Grandmodern, known by his moniker the Iron King, died of old age yesterday evening at his Hightown Palace, surrounded by his family and his priest. Lord Grandmodern was, like his father and his grandfather before him, at the helm of a vast iron mining and smelting empire. His son Leobald is set to succeed him. 
the last month of his life, Lord Grand Modern spent in preparation for the Jubilee Ball to commemorate the 20th anniversary of his highest town estate. The event, which is to take place this recidivist, will now also be hosted by his son, more on page 8. Vox fell drainage system perfectly fine, official says. The city is bracing for the yearly heavy rains of Vinificus, and Voxfell district is no exception. A thorough renovation of the canals and overall drainage system of the wealthiest district of Stone Market was conducted earlier this year by Colton Breckery, the head of the Public Works Division of Stone Market. Breckery is quoted as saying, We at the Stone Market Public Works Division are more than ready, and I and my men are not Clark's band of amateurs. The citizens of Voxfell can rest assured the infrastructure will prevent floodings. The drainage system is perfectly fine, if I do say so myself. More on page uh, 18. Hmm. <laughs> I apologize for the unseely court here, but, you know, needs must. Oh, what? So wait, there's just a note. There's like not even any single bit of loot in here whatsoever, ever, ever. A locked door and a window and a guy with a club and there's nothing? I don't know about this. Oh well, it's not the main event anyhow, so... I mean, there's like six of these, so maybe one could actually climb high enough? I mean, yeah, almost <sighs> maybe? Yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh. Damn it, I could um I'm totally sure that one could do this and there's gonna be some crazy Easter eggs. Oh come on! What are you doing? This like what part of drop it and don't turn, don't you understand? You're, this is not supposed to turn when you do this, is it? I don't think so. Okay, come on. Dude, put the stupid crate on there. Don't put it after. Also, you. Like, just leave. What an annoyance. <sighs> Okay, hopefully that's fine. Oh, wow, there's even all the- yeah, there's totally- there's no way they put this many crates here. Uh, okay. Come on. No! Okay, this is like grinding the whole thing to a halt, and anyone who knows is gonna be like, Finn, there's nothing up there, but nope. I must, I must. Oh, give me a fucking break. God damn it! Oh, hey, there's a guy up there. Okay. Not stop it! Drop it properly, you dumb dick! Fuck! Uh, okay. Come on, come on! I know that's good enough. I know that is good enough. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> I should read the tip. In addition to being used to bury the dead, the lower tombs were also used for funeral ceremonies and feature at least two chapels with specially blessed holy water fonts which the resident smith used to bless holy symbols and weapons. This could be useful to you if there's water left in them. Oh wow. If there's a holy font, you can use the holy font. Amazing advice for 200 gold. <gasps> Freaking finally! <sighs> what is your deal like? What, were you just standing up here the whole time? Ooh. Hey, I don't have bloom on, do I? Yes, I apologize for this flickering light, but whatever it is. Wait. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Really? There's not even an Easter egg. Really? Seriously? You didn't put a dope fish or anything? There's even a guy, though? At least it got me to read the note. Well, I mean... Oh. There's this... platform here. Although I don't know how I would get up on that. Mm. I mean, I can stack. This is really getting iffy. I don't know, man. You want me to carry yet one more crate up here? Seriously? Talk about rude, or just have bought more potions. <sighs> God damn it. Nope, nope, nope. This entire video is just gonna be me looking for nothing. <sighs> Look, there has to be something up here. There's no way they do this whole cheeky thing with the crates. 
absolutely no possible way. Come on. What is that dog whining all the time? Treat your dogs better. Christ, man, how did I do this before? Don't be stupid! What? Okay, somehow I did it again. Okay, whatever. Oh, that's all I need. What? Come on now, come on. That rope, I jumped through that rope. It's not a thing, so don't even try to even act like that's a thing, bruh. Oh, this... Look, there's that roof up there. Can I get up there? Can I? Huh? I mean, there's this weird invisible wall. There's just no way. Also, it doesn't help you, like, almost never can fall down here without just missing the stack entirely. <gasps> Stupid. <laughs> this is all my own fault. Come on! God, like, Jesus Christ, man. Well, now I can't get back up. I guess I bumped him just so, so that now I just can't ever get... Oh, Christ. Okay, is that gonna do... Bro... <sighs> Come on! You guys are gonna feel my pain. <sighs> what? Now what? Fucking hell, no! Bro! Bro! Jesus, my fucking Christ, dude! Come on! How the hell did I do this before, then? No! Can I go, like... Ah! Oh, what?! You fell an inch! What?! You can stick rope arrows in crates?! Are you kidding me?! This is the sun within and the sun without?! That's not possible in Normal Thief. You can't blame me for not knowing that. Well, Jesus Christ, can I do this then? No. <laughs> that is not possible normally. You can't blame me for not knowing that. Okay. Okay, I will get up here. I will try to put one crate up here. Except that isn't going to work. Oh my god. <sighs> Yeah. I don't think they even mentioned that in the new features section of the readme, I don't think. Okay, so you're telling me if I just go like that, except then I can't get down without dying, but whatever. If I kind of just... If I go like this or something... Then I should be able to just always get back up. Which... <sighs> no wonder. Come on. Then I can take as many of these up as I want. Honestly, that's actually even a little disappointing. <laughs> I was thinking I was going to be hardcore Joe over here, but no, slightly less hardcore than I than I was imagining. Oh well. Bro, put the thing down prop. Stop turning. What are you This thing is Oh my god, dude. What? Okay, so if I chuck one up there, I guess is what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Oh wow, that's a little awkward, but but sure. Come on. <gasps> okay. And I need another. Oh my god, this better be good. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on, come on. What? Oh, dude, I saw a doll or something up there. I saw, like, Jesus. I saw Jesus in a doll form, I swear to you. <gasps> what? Okay, is... What is that? Is that Mr. Strawberry? No, wait. Mr. Strawberry is in Lady Lester, isn't it? Okay, what? What? Why did you show that to me if I... <sighs> Is it just for seeing? It's not for getting? Okay, I guess it's just for looking. Well, what is it supposed to be? A green-faced doll with a brick dress and a Jesus halo? Is that a gold plate behind it? 
I'm guessing not because there's no getting that. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's cute and okay. I guess I'm gonna have to accept that. These are ups in the crates. I swear that's new. That's not a normal. It's definitely not normal in Old Dark. I don't think it's normal in New Dark either. Ah. Oh well. Uh, an hour later, let's continue the actual mission ah. as soon as I can actually get. Oh yeah, you're supposed to. Sh I don't want to leave my rope there, though. I don't. Come on. <coughs> Bro, seriously? Yeah! You're right, as if this is gonna work. Uh. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Okay. Never looking at that again. Let's move on. <laughs> What's going on over there? What? This guy saw me? He saw me because I bopped his friend. Wait a minute. Oh. Never mind. I'm not going to the tomb. I'm going to give those guys a 12 hour head start. It's going to be amazing. I don't think there's any timed elements here, but there was that one guy who I decided not to let out and then he attacked me for not letting him out. So, like, there's that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. It's an apothecary, is it? Or a tomb thickary? It's not funny just because you combine two words, okay? Portmanteaus aren't necessarily portman jokes. Okay. There could be someone here. So I'd better tramps around. Look, there's the scales of whoa. Look at that guy. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. Enough being Benny. What whoa. Hey, is that like a foul? Oh. <laughs> He doesn't even lock it. <laughs> Security through obscurity. Oh, there's a spirit potion. Okay. <laughs> Will it be bright? You don't need to hide it anymore. I know you won't be able to pay what you owe me for a while. I learned from a good source that you're in deep trouble with some warden. I, however, can lend you more coins for a very small interest in exchange for but a small service. Do you know that guy called Broderick? The wife is pestering me for one of them fancy spirulian gemstone-powered lamps. Said her sight diminished ever since she gazed for too long into the fires from the burning stakes. Crazy woman. Anyway, back to Broderick. He's a Jew tending his shop at Grimes Street, a real parsimonious scallywag if I ever saw one. I've tried repeatedly to get him to accept my generous offers to purchase one of them, but cold stares and long silences were the only answers I could get from him. One of what? A lamp? Try to scare him a little. Throw stones at his stained glass windows or piss on his doorstep, I don't really care. I'll want him to be fearful enough so he'll want to get rid of that precious gemstone and I'll be there to buy it off him naturally. But you better remember this. While you do your work, someone somewhere in the vast stonework next to his place could be watching you. You certainly don't want that. E. Grime Street. So is that in this actual section of town or just nothing? Everyone's... Oh, that says something actual. I'm just... Dying to know what these things always say, always. Jeez. That is a much pleasanter painting. Although she could use some sun tanning, but that wasn't the trend back then. Sun tanned ladies? <laughs> what are we talking about? Low nobility? This is high nobility. Smoke till you drop. Alright, well, I guess this was this. Fairly cute, some flavor and some loot. There's probably also some loot in that other place that I didn't find any in, but, like, you know, whatever. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, bruh. I don't want to leave a single rope arrow. Two is not a huge amount, you may be shocked to know. The number two, not the hugest number in the world. Many more have been discovered, such as three and seven and 18,000. Oh, and the number eight, because that's part of the number 18,000. Numbers are very weird how they work, don't you know? Yes! Watch me make this entire video not having gone into the tombs, just like messing around in town so that people watch it and go <laughs> a lot. Yeah, watch me do it. I'm gonna do it, I promise you. That was a lie. Well, <laughs> poor bastard, I guess I didn't need to worry about time after all. What an idiot, he has a rope and he still died? How dumb can you get? How can you die? Like, maybe, maybe he jumped and missed the rope because the engine sucks. Yeah, okay. Uh, All right, boys and girls, we've talked about this a bit, but now I'm absolutely certain that Aldrius's demise should be somewhere within these tombs. 
Barlow went for some digging last night and found us a way in. Remember that we've been promised a huge sum of money if we manage to get it, so we better get to work. Besides, we can plunder the other vaults with no repercussions. I know you're all familiar with this whole grave robbing business, but I feel that I need to remind you of the rules since our last accident with Roger. Make sure nobody follows you when you're coming. The local watchdogs have been bribed by our employer and should leave us alone. Still, we don't want any witnesses and Monsegur isn't aware of our operation. Let's make sure it stays that way. Do not talk and watch your step. Being noisy in ancient catacombs like that is guaranteed death. We know almost nothing about the place, so be even more vigilant than usual. Follow only the paths Ernestine and Barlow mark as safe. These two are extraordinary scouts. If you hear strange sounds or see someone who isn't us, get the taff away. If I see you trying to hide something, I'll break your bones and leave you on the spot. Don't stray off too much. If you ain't outside after sunrise, we consider you gone and we skedaddle. Too bad if you're just late. We can't take any risks. When you're done, we don't know you and you don't know us until another wealthy crook needs our services. Here's a reminder of the signs we use. An upward arrow means that the room is safe. A downward arrow means that the room is trapped, so proceed with caution. A cross means tough and moving corpses, so don't go that way. Another thing, tonight's undead bait is just some random low-life tagging with us thinking he's off to easy money. No need to feel too concerned about him. Just trip him if the corpses are after us. Whisker. <laughs> oh, whisker is a cute name. It's like a cat. Oh, no, that's just a bowl. Sometimes bulls are loot, but I'm just going to assume it isn't without any sort of proof. I mean, we have the evidence of they're usually not. Yeah, why Why did he... Oh, he tried to get back up. I see, that makes more sense. And or, the torches are lit. How nice of them. <laughs> okay, so enter there. Grimworth Extinction. It felt like forever doing that crate easter egg. I don't know how long the video actually is. Could be just two minutes. Ooh. You know, there's a mission called, like, Up in the Bone Horde or something, where it's like this weird Bone Horde version that's, like, weird and stuff. I played part of it, and then I was like, this is too weird for me! Or something, or I, I don't know what happened. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> well, the dead need their feast, so... Oh, it's trapped. Strangers may pause to mark those is who repose below. Perchance a good friend may read, perchance a foe. What can they learn? That felicity and trust, rancor and malice, end in dust to dust. Mark those who repose. Well, I mean, okay, we got your shooty shooties. You just gotta crouch, dude. Isn't that exactly the most greatest trap in the world? Hello! We are shooty shooties anyways. Whatever. It's the first trap. Gotta get you used to it. I'm sure we'll encounter some much more deadly ones later. Oh. So maybe this is kind of the bone horde then. I mean... The bone horde is not my favorite thing, I'll be honest with you. Tombs I like, but... Gray hallways and confusing passages that go on for 8,000 miles, not necessarily. Ooh. Oops. Oops, ooh, ooh, oops, 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 what, ooh, oops, what? Okay, fine, I'll go this way. And, and yeah, I don't know, I mean, it is a thief goldy thing, so there's that. If it's not a, if it's not a square banner, you can't cut it. How do you expect to cut something if it's not square? That's why square hair is the most shortest hair in the world. Bruh. What, not even a trap? Not even a coin or some dead old bugger or beggar or a beggar who is a bugger or a beggar who enjoys buggering. Wait a minute. No, that's just a bone. Not a potion or nothing. I guess this way is just a thoroughfare. And thorough it is indeed. <laughs> well, I think that others may have robbed all the good stuff before me. Or by the good stuff, I mean the low-hanging stuff except for that. That's high-hanging, you see? So how could it possibly have been robbed? It's not even a grape. Yes. I don't know. Grapes hang, don't they? Sure. Uh-huh. Verily, they aren't hanging well in our Latin speaking spell. Whoa, it's like 2D except 3D. It looks trippy. Because it's very important that only men become very old, very white-haired, very white-attituded, very cloudy-headed men. Very, very, very old men can only be old men, otherwise we might end up with something that involved any sort of intelligence. Oh, wait a minute. 
Is there a cross marked here? Dude, there's no cross marked, but yet there's taffing moving corpses. These guys are lazy and don't mark their shit properly, even though they said they would. Oh. Ooh. And some of them are, like, actually moving. Crap. And we even got gender non-specific neutral diversity variety. We got girl zombies, which the bone whore didn't have because it was racist. Or whatever. What I'm trying to say is there's walking corpses, who cares? And they'll leave us for dead, or eat us for dead, or they'll exist in our faces. And isn't that real? Okay, maybe they're just down there. And isn't that really what we all wanted after all? Hey, wait a minute. Can I grab that torch and use it for puzzles? No, there's no puzzles here, just endless gray hallway. Okay, this is more interesting than the actual bone horde. Okay, the actual bone horde has interesting parts in it. Okay, what? That's safe, is it? Are you sure? Are you sure we can trust your judgment on what is safe? Well, <laughs> these candles, not always infinite candles, sometimes they actually run out. Okay, this is clearly... A secret passage, clearly. I mean, look at this statue, it's even suspect. Okay, what, uh-oh. What, uh-oh. Look, look at this. Yep, see? Definitely. So even though this room is safe, I suppose... We are not necessarily safe standing here gawping at... Nothing. Maybe you come from the other side, or maybe there's some... Buzzle. Oh my god. That I have not yet even conceived of. I can't conceive. I'm sorry. I don't have a womb. I highly apologize. I know it's not nearly as hot if I don't have a womb, but we can pretend. Okay, so what am I actually... 1600 loot? It's not that bad, I guess. I've already got 239. Surely getting 1600 will not be very difficult at all. So... There should be more zombs over here if my ears and memory are anything like functional. Those hamster statues are just cute. Like, look, who makes a cute tomb? <gasps> New genre. Cute tombs. Like, they're just tombs, but like disgustingly kawaii and shit. They'd be just they'd be amazing. Okay, this is safe. Also, it's also stairs upwards, so the arrow serves a dual purpose. With the builder's efficiency, we've accomplished two tasks. Whoa, creepy. With one effort. Man, look at how many objects Thief can have. It's astounding. Uh oh. Oh, lady, calm the fuck down. Shit, I missed. Okay. Shit, I missed some loot. That's the only important thing to ever say shit about in a frickin' bone hoard tomb. God! No! Don't make noise or talk! Ever! Christ! Well, I guess I don't really want to go up. I'll get that loot later, or I'll just forget about it. Probably the latter. But, you know, if... Oh, wait, I circled around here. Wait, what? But... You ain't a girl, where's your stereotypical dress? Okay, fine, I will go upstairs. I'm forgetting exactly where the loops even go at this point. But, but, but okay. Ugh. <sighs> darkness. Always gotta make some darkness in there. Well, it's dimness. Not necessarily all of what you might want, but... <sighs> Nevertheless, okay, I must have come down here. Everything's f fine, or everything's fucked. Everything's effed in some degree or regard, anyway. Oh, oh this room is is trapped, is it? I was gonna turn around and go. I blast you with my laser eyes. It looks like lasers were starting worked on in the fifties, or papers were published, but the first one was nineteen sixty. So whatever. Not that. Not that far away. What the hell? Oh, okay. So that one doesn't turn, though. 
<laughs> this is very doomish too, this thing on the wall. It's it I'm trying to hump the wall and get into it, but alas. That's pretty scary. I don't know why that one's there. I guess it's to say, hey, something turns around here at some point, maybe. You better be careful and watch your back, Mega Man. What? <laughs> okay. If I ever want to get anywhere in this tomb, I think I have to go this way, maybe. Right. And look at my map. Like, this is totally my fault that I never look at the map. I'm just, for some reason, not used to it. Also, I'm just like, if I don't have the lazy auto map thing, I'm just like, I don't know, I don't want to follow the map and see where I am. <laughs> okay, what's with these numbers? 634, Grave Warden's Vigil. Do I get to put stones for good luck? Like, my own stones? Do I get to place my own stones on a tomb for good luck? You already got to have the stones for that? Okay, wait a minute. This is just circling around. For real. So... But where... Like, okay, I, I entered and then I went down some stairs. Like, am I, like, around here? If I am around here, then... Okay, maybe... Right. Well, this room is totally safe. So, wait a minute. Up arrow means... Okay, across means dead, but they don't have any crosses at all. Not, not written on the walls, anyway. I guess the dead got them before they could draw a single cross, which makes sense. <laughs> well, before I go down there, I kind of want to... Oh, no. Okay, that's an X. Maybe by cross they meant X. But, like, the undead are everywhere, so Xs aren't exactly super useful. But it's safe, but also it's not safe, because there's walking frickin' dead and naked guys flexing their muscles while pounding. Ooh. Hey, that's actually pretty pretty. Uh-uh. You just stay there making out with your plant pot or whatever it is you're doing and everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> oh god damn it. <sighs> I was supposed to use a holy water, I guess. These fire arrows Valuable <laughs> and not necessarily quiet. So that probably wasn't the greatest idea ever. Oh, but wait a minute. This is. Well, now I don't know where I am anymore. I'm gloriously lost. All I know is I want to get to that waterfall room because it's pretty. Oh, there we go. It's beauteous. Uh -huh. Well, there's the waterfall. So, uh, I'm gonna end the video here and hope I don't die. Uh, while, while the game is down. The zombie might sneak up to me while the game's asleep and kill me, but anyways. Oh well, gotta live a little, right? See you guys next time. Bye for now.